Welcome in the 10th episode of our Pari Matching Game Tutorial. In today's episode we will implement checking of our puzzles. So whenever you reveal two puzzles in the game, our code will check if those puzzle, puzzles are the same. If they are, they're gonna be just removed from the game. Okay, so let's get started. Let's open our project and first of all let's go to the scripts folder and open picture scripts. So inside our picture script, we will need one more variable. So right at the top, below the clicked variable, I will add another private int. And I will call it index. So that's going to be the index for our puzzle. And then we will need two, two functions, the getter and the setter. So I will just call below public void set index. And then I will pass int id and then our index will be equal to id okay and then below that i will call just the, the getter function so we need to return int actually need to be public int get index and we're gonna just remove our index okay return okay so that's it for what we need in this function, uh, in this class. So let's move now to our picture manager. And inside the picture manager, the first thing we want to do is we want to go to our apply texture function, which is near the bottom. And inside this function, right at the end of the function, where we setting the materials for the puzzles, we want to we wanna set the index for the specific puzzle as well. So right below the set second material, I will call o dot set index. Okay, and we're gonna pass the random material index. So this this random index which we choose. And then one more thing, we wanna do the o dot revealed. So that's the variable which we set in the last episode. Would be equal to false. Okay, so make sure you put those two lines of code inside this function. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go to our check picture function. So here it is. And inside our F statement, when we're actually checking if the two, two puzzles has been revealed. So over here, we want to add some more code. So we want to check if our picture, picture list at first revealed picture dot get index is equal to make sure you put double equal sign to picture list at second revealed picture dot get index and then of course we want to check so end the first revealed picture is not equal to the second revealed picture. So we're not checking like the same puzzle. Okay, so this is just the, the safety check. So if this is the case, so if the first picture is the same as the second picture, we want to set our current game state to be equal to game state dot deleting puzzles so we're gonna delete puzzles and then we will need uh, actually two more variables before we continue so i will scroll scroll right at the top and uh, below the revealed picture number i will add uh, two more variables so it's going to be private int and then picture to destroy one and then picture and then picture to destroy two okay so we want to store the index of the pictures to destroy. So let's, let's uh, go back to our function. Here it is. Okay, inside our check picture, we want to continue this implementation. So we will set our current game state. And then we need to set our picture to destroy one to be equal to first picture, first revealed picture. And then picture to destroy two will be equal to second review picture. Okay, and that's it for this function. And then let's create one more function below the check picture. 
So we just scroll up, uh, scroll down right before the flip back and I will add another function which will be private void destroy picture and then first of all let's reset the state so puzzle revealed number will be equal to revealed state dot no revealed then picture list add picture to destroy one dot and I will call deactivate deactivate okay this function is not implemented yet but we will do, do it in a minute and then below picture list picture to destroy two dot deactivate deactivate okay okay so we want to destroy two puzzles and then we want to set the revealed picture number to be equal to zero okay so that's it and then the last thing which we need to make uh, which we need to do in this class is we need to go to our update function and then inside the our update function before the flip back we want to add another f statement so if our current game state is equal to game state dot deleting puzzles and if the current puzzle state will be equal to puzzle state dot can rotate we want to call our destroy destroy picture function okay and then let's go back quickly to this destroy picture function again and there is one thing which we need to add uh, inside this function so bef uh, below the revealed picture number we want to of course restart our current game state so current game state will be equal to game state dot no action okay otherwise we will call like uh, this function multiple times and then current puzzle state will be equal to puzzle state can rotate okay so make sure you add those two lines and the last thing which we need to do is we need to implement this uh, deactivate function inside our puzzle class so let's i will just copy the name of this function and then let's uh, let's go back to our picture class just before that i'm gonna save everything and then i will write at the bottom i will add public void then deactivate and this deactivate function will call our game object dot set active and we're gonna pass to false okay so we're just gonna just just deactivate the current game object okay so i think that's it let's save everything now and let's go back to unity and see what we've got okay i'm gonna press play let's try maybe 15 pairs and we need to try to find matching pictures which might okay so as you see they are not they are not destroyed for some reason okay so let's go back to our picture manager and uh, I think I know where we make mistake the, the mistake is in our check picture function and then in our F statement when we reveal two pictures we destroying our pictures and we setting our current game state to deleting puzzles but right after that we are just setting the current game state to flip back okay so we just need to put else statement here else okay and make sure this current game state are flip back is under the else so now when you save everything and when you go back to unity let's press play and then let's try again 15 pictures okay let's just find two pairs okay okay those two so this one and this one and as you see they are destroyed 
but I think they are destroyed too quickly. So we can fix that by adding the uh, stopping the main thread just for a bit. So in our destroy function, let me go back to the destroy fun destroy picture function. Right after the non revealed, I will add the system dot threading dot thread dot sleep and we're gonna sleep for 200 milliseconds okay so let's save everything now and let's go back to unity again and see what we what we have so let's plus play now i will choose the 10 pictures uh, 10 pairs and let me find some pairs okay so you see we had a pair and you could see the picture briefly and the picture is destroyed so i think everything is working fine at this point there are i'm sure there are a few books inside the game but we're gonna address these books in the next episode so that's it for today thank you very much for watching and see you again in the next episode